Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday, the 25th of August. I hope you've had a good day and the weather hasn't been too bad for you. As we come together, let us think on the day that has been. Let us reflect on those things which have gone well to give thanks to God for. Let us think on those things which we need to ask for his help with. So as we come together, let us take a moment to pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. O oh God, will you not give us life again, that, you, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O oh Lord, and grant us your salvation. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. Righteousness shall go before him and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 89, verses 19 to the end. The Lord has sworn oath to David, a promise from which he will not shrink. He spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set a youth above the mighty, I have raised a young man over the people, I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked person afflict him. I will strike down his foes before his face, and beat down those that hate him. My truth also and my steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name shall his head be exalted. I will set his dominion upon the sea, and his right hand... <coughs> upon the rivers he shall call to me you are my father my god and the rock of my salvation and i will make him my firstborn the most high above the king of ki uh, kings of the earth the love i have pledged to him will i keep forever and my covenant will stand fast with him his seed also will i make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven but if his people forsake my law, and cease to walk in my judgments, if they break my statutes, and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their offences with a rod, and their sins with scourges. But I will not take from him my steadfast love, nor suffer my truth to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter what has gone out of my lips. Once for all have I sworn by my holiness that I will pr not prove da false to David. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall stand fast forever as the moon, the enduring witness in the heavens. But you have cast off and rejected my, your anointed. You have shown fierce anger against him. You have broken the covenant with your servant and have cast his crown to the dust. You have broken down all his walls, and laid his strongholds in ruins. All who pass by to spoil him, and he has become the scorn of his neighbours. You have exalted the right hand of his foes, and made all his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword, and have not upheld him in battle. You have made an end of his radiance, and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth, and have covered him with shame. How long will you hide yourself so utterly, O Lord? How long shall your anger burn like fire? Remember how short my time is, how frail you have made all mortal flesh. Which of the living shall not see death, and shall deliver their soul from the power of darkness? 
Where, O Lord, is your steadfast love of old, which you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, O Lord, how your servant is scorned, how I bear in my bosom the taunts of many people, while, my, while your enemies mock, O Lord, while they mock the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord for evermore. Amen and Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord has sworn an oath to David, a promise on which he will not shrink. Our Old Testament reading for this evening is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 22, to the end of the chapter. The Lord created me at the beginning of his works, the first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago I was set up, at the first, before the beginning of the earth. When there was no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no spring abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields, all the world's fine spits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limits, so that the waters may not, might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was daily in his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and delighting the human race. And now, my children, listen to me. Happy are those who keep my ways, Hear instructions and be wise, and do not neglect it. Happy is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting, daily beside, waiting beside my doors. For whoever finds me finds life, and obtains favour from the Lord. But those who miss me injure themselves. All who hate me love death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And the one who sits upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. To the one who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 21 to 34. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the lake. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue, named Jairus, came and said, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet and bade him repeatedly, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and live. So he went with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years. She had endured so much under many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and she was no better, but rather grew worse. She heard about Jesus, and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak, for she said, If I touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhages stopped and she felt in her body that she had been healed of her disease. Immediately, aware that the power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say who touched me? He looked all around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. 
Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We give thanks for all that you have done with us and through us. We give thanks for all that your Holy Spirit has done throughout the world. We are prayerful that we may be mindful of your will. Guide us, keep us, mould us as you wish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are in self-isolation. For those who are in quarantine. For those who are shielding. For those who are in hospital. And those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are mourning and grieving at this time, for all who have lost loved ones, for all who are preparing for funerals, for those who are suffering from the loss of someone they care about. We pray too for those who are carrying the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who have been affected by the storms. We pray for those who have no shelter, no place to call home. We pray for those who are sleeping rough at this time. We pray for shock, for the London and Slough run, for all those who are working with those who are homeless, to give them shelter, comfort and warmth. We pray for all who are refugees, for all who have fled their homes, who have fled violence and persecution, who have fled war. We pray for all those who are seeking sanctuary. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for for those who are victims of violence. We pray especially for those who are victims of domestic abuse. We pray for those who are at risk of perpetrating it, that they may be guided away from causing harm to others. We pray for those who lurk and prey upon the weak. We pray for those who are misguided that they may come to you and follow your way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for and give thanks for the work of the NHS, the doctors, nurses and carers, the scientists, the staff, for all who are helping to make others feel better. We pray for all who are in hospital at this time, for those undergoing treatments, for those awaiting diagnosis. We pray too for their families who miss them. 
and those who are desperate to get home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of quiet, we offer to God the thoughts and prayers of our innermost heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, you declare your almighty power, most chiefly in shame, mercy and pity. Mercy grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let us pray of confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and at 5pm for morning and evening prayer, and to say that the church will be open tomorrow uh, if you wish to come for individual prayer, um, and on Sunday we will gather at St Mary's for our Eucharist. But until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and have a very good evening.